Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a homemade hummingbird mix and it's the easiest and the best mix you'll ever make. So you will need a glass container, all clean that never had anything else in it before. I only wash this with water only, no soap. And it's about nine cups that fits in there. Uh, you'll need one cup for the sugar. You'll need another container to pour up all the boiling water into it to mix and uh, dilute and uh, melt the sugar. And I use this to boil my water. I put nine cups of water in there, but you can uh, boil it on the stove. Whatever you have at home is fine too. Okay, now we're going to put the, the uh, sugar in the cup. So it's one cup, two cups, and I'm going to put another half cup in there. Usually it's a quarter cup per cup of water, but I always put extra. So because the birds like it a lot better. So you got two and a half cups in there. Now my water boiled already. So I'm going to pour it all in and I'm going to use a very clean wooden spoon that you only use for the mix. And I'm going to mix it up all together. It's so hot and it uh, melts really fast. See, I boil nine cups and we end up with about eight and a half cups all together, which is perfect. Okay, all the water is in there. You make sure that uh, you mix it very well. Okay, now we're going to let it cool off, okay, because we don't want to put it too hot in the glass container. And we are ready to uh, put it in right after. All right, now it's cooled off, so it's time to transfer it to the jar. I use a little funnel, you don't have to, just so I don't make a mess anywhere, but here it goes. Here you go. So you got about eight cups of mixture ready to go. And that's it. And do not forget to close it to have a top and put it in a refrigerator that way you can use it as you need it and um, but I would never I never fill up my feeder to the top it depends on how many hummingbirds you have coming around so I only give like maybe half or you know three quarters of the feeder because otherwise it's wasted because you got to change their um, their food about once a week so it's fresh and then you'll have the most, uh, I mean, you'll have so many hummingbirds, you won't know what to do with them. Okay, just a reminder, this is the best uh, food that you can give your hummingbirds because it's all natural. And usually the red stuff that you buy in the markets, uh, it hurts their kidneys. So this is why I've been doing this for a very long time. And hopefully they live a long time too. But anyway, thank you for watching and subscribe. Bye.